In this video, I'm going to be looking at the common rate around amplifier circuit. So this is just a basic introduction of how you can analyze this particular circuit, okay? So to find out what the various DC values are, um, these are the DC equations that um, that you can use, okay? So this is um, capacitive reactance here, and we want that to be quite small compared to the resistor values um, here and here. So that's based on our input frequency and the capacitor value, okay? Um, so that should be uh, 159.15 ohms, which is quite small compared to these two. Um, the other thing that we need to know <coughs> is the gain, which in this particular circuit it's RC over RE. So that's a gain of 10. Okay. Um, <coughs> so the thing to know is that um, usually you would have another coupling capacitor, which would be the same value as this coupling capacitor. But I've left that out because I, I just want to show you the way that um, um, our collector voltage, which is 9.3 volts D, um, our input signal, which is 100 millivolts, when you multiply that by the gain of 10, we end up at 1 volt. So our signal basically rides along the DC values, um, you know, so it goes up to 10.3 volts and down to 8.3 volts, okay? And, um, you know, but the coupling capacitor would block out our DC values, okay? So you, you would just be left with the AC uh, signal. Okay, so <clears throat> these are the simulation settings that um, I, I'm, I'm using, and um, I've already run this particular circuit, so we can see that it's our uh, collector voltage is 9.3 volts, so that's where it starts. Okay, so it rises up to 10.3 volts and down to 8.3 volts, so that's uh, what we expected. Okay, um, so that's uh, 2 volts peak to peak um, around there anyway, and you can see our input. Uh, our input signal is at 200 millivolts peak to peak. Okay, so when we divide that into um, our output signal here, it should you know it should be um, a gain of 10. Okay, the other thing to notice is that uh, our output signal should be 180 degrees out of phase um, of our input signal, which it is. Okay, um, so if we go back here, we can see that uh, if I just look at the voltage. Uh, what the voltage should be here and what the current should be. So they're near enough, um, these, these values. Okay, so these are ideal values based on these equations. So the actual um, values would, would be a little bit off, but they'll be in the same ballpark, okay? Um, the other thing to know as well, if you want to increase the gain, you would have a, a bypass capacitor here, okay? And also, um, we, because we want an even swing above and below, a certain value we would want that to be half of VCC, so it should be really 12.5 volts. Um, okay, but I look, I'll have a look at that in different uh, videos. Okay, and that's basically all you, you need to know.